Hey guys, so seeing as it's August, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video for freshers that are going to be starting university in September because, to be honest, when I started uni I was so nervous and I didn't know what to expect and how to act and stuff. Obviously I was like, be yourself. I just kind of like to reflect on my year and give advice for upcoming freshers. So I will give the top five ways that I think will benefit you in university on the social side. Obviously you've got to work hard on your course, whatever you choose to do, but this is just to make you feel more at home, I guess. Number one, keep your door open at all times. Like, obviously, if you're, not if you're taking a shower or whatever. If you keep your door shut, people, especially in the first few weeks, they're not gonna really want to want on your door because they don't want to intrude kind of thing. Whereas if, you just got, if you're just mindlessly on your computer and you've got your door open, People aren't going to mind uh, just popping their head around and saying, hey, did you fancy, we're all watching a film, or did you fancy going to shops, or anything, just to start building that sort of relationship. Don't, like, keep yourself in your room either, like, make sure you get out and socialise and make friends with everyone. Which brings me on to number two, do not judge people when you first meet them, because you will be surprised at how much people change and how people come out of their shells and you probably will be really close to people to start with and then make friends with a whole bunch of new people and you know anybody can be a friend and don't just limit yourself to your campus or maybe if you're in a house like people on, in, on your road. Make friends with people like all over like different campuses and it's actually cool because you can travel to the different campuses and then you meet so many more people through that. Which brings me on to number three is do not be afraid to join sports and societies. Don't put it off till next year because you will regret it because I've joined two sports teams and it has made me feel like so much more part of something. Like trampolining, even though we're quite a small team, we're like a big old family because everybody is so nice and I'm gonna be social set next year with one of the other girls and that is just gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to like make all the freshers join. <laughs> and cheerleading as well, that's that's a lot bigger group, but you know, you just meet so many different people and get into competing competitions. It gives you something to do as well because in halls, it really does get kind of boring sometimes. I mean, weekends, if you're doing nothing on weekday evenings, apart from going out maybe sometimes, but the nights that you don't do anything, you're gonna to wanna to do the same at the weekend. And then when it comes to the weekend, you're just gonna be like, I'm so bored. And if you have that kind of thing to break it up, it's just something to do. I mean, I trampoline and cheerlead on Tuesday and Thursday evenings, and it really breaks up the week and gives me something to do. It may make me quite busy. It involves a lot of balancing with like social friends and work and training, but I, I like that. I like that I have to challenge myself and stuff. So yeah, join up at Freshers Fair. Like, I mean, I, I went a bit crazy at Freshers Fair, I'm not gonna lie. I must have joined up to like 20 different things and I only ended up committing to two. It is quite impossible. I wanted to, as well as trampoline and cheerleading, I wanted to join the snow club. I wanted to do street dance. I wanted to do, it was all sorts of things, but they're probably the main other two. Oh, athletics, yeah. But it's, it's quite hard. I mean, trampoline, like I say, I'm so close to everybody and they're the socials that I go to, whereas cheerleading, I'm only there to train. And obviously, because other people who go to the socials, they've got that a lot more closer to each other, whereas obviously I'm not at the socials. I haven't had that experience to get close. So if you do decide to do more than one sport, just bear that in mind, like you could go to one one week, one the other week, but I don't know, from the moment I set foot in trampoline and socials, I just didn't want to leave. That's just the way it went. And now I'm a bigger part of it next year, so it makes all the difference. Number four, don't trust like the advertisements and stuff for the clubs that you get in freshers saying this is the best place to go, oh my god, because probably they're going to be lying to you. An example, in Cheltenham there's a nightclub called Lace and that was advertised in my freshers and everyone was like oh my god it's the best place to go, we've got to go there, everyone's telling us go to Lace, go to Lace. It's awful. 
And the reason why they have so many cheap offers and freshers and making you go there, tricking you to go there, is because they are going out of business. Once you realise, like after probably about a month, we realised, okay, these are the places that are so much better, we we'll stop going there. And then maybe, I think one night, they were really, really desperate and had different offers on with cheap drinks and stuff. So we thought, oh, we might as well just go. It was really bad, so. Yeah, if you're going to Cheltenham, avoid lace. It might not be the same case in other places, but it just might be something to think about, that it could be false advertising, because it's probably not the best place to go. Whereas, maybe some places it is. I don't know, but that's just my experience anyway. And finally, number five, it would really benefit you if you learnt how to cook over summer. It's also a conversation starter when you're in the kitchen or something. I mean, probably the first few weeks all me and my flatmates did was just, we would all sit in the kitchen because that's the only communal area we had, we didn't have a lounge or anything. So we'd all just sit in the kitchen and watch each other make food and everyone's like, oh, oh, how did you do that? Oh, where did you learn how to do that? You might find that you and your house make a lot of meals together. So have, I think we've, we've had a Mexican night, and just like giant pastas and things that just go around and it's really good. So yeah, learn how to cook or just have a little experiment over summer. So that's probably it for now. I think I'm done. So I'll speak to you all soon and any freshers that are starting uni in September, good luck to you. Don't be nervous, you'll be fine. Just be yourself. Everyone's in the same boat as you and everyone just wants to get along with each other. So good luck and see you later. Ciao for now.